is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. We are live on News 5 in the Springs. We've got cloudy skies from Bancroft Park to the Citadel Mall all the way over to the Peterson Air Force Base. Pueblo, a mix of clouds and sunshine right now. Breezy and mild is the main message from the Steel City in Trinidad. That's a live shot from our camera that sits on top of the uh, college campus there. A few light showers been moving across the Trinidad area. Also a couple of sprinkles, light showers across parts of Woodland Park here within the past 30 minutes. Big weather story. I know you're thinking about the weekend, so let's just get right to it. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to have a downslope flow coming off the mountains for your weekend. That simply means you are going to see sunshine during the morning hours, and it's going to be warm. Afternoon highs warmer than what we've had the past few days. Still an outside chance of a few isolated thunderstorms, especially favoring the Pikes Peak region. Here's the way it plays out. Saturday and Sunday will be at 76 degrees. Morning sunshine before those afternoon clouds and possible thunderstorms roll off the mountains. Problem mainly dry. If you see a thunderstorm, I think the best chance will be Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. Still no slam dunk with that as well. Here's what's going on right now. We've got showers across parts of El Paso County up into Teller County right now up on Ute Pass. A few showers. Heaviest rain right now just south of the city. Places like Security Wide Field into Fountain. That stuff pushing off to the east southeast. Just some beneficial rain. Nothing intense with that. That is intense. Centered right over Texas Creek right now. Moderate to even heavy rain in the strongest part of that thunderstorm. Could be getting some small hail. There is plenty of dangerous clouded ground lightning with that thing headed right across Fremont County pushing from west to east and plenty of lightning across far southeastern Colorado across Baca County. If you're watching us from that area, stay indoors until that lightning passes. Here's what's going to happen later tonight. 730 this model picking up on that thunderstorm moving across Fremont County, pushing it from west to east. Few light showers possible across parts of the Pikes Peak region, parts of El Paso County into Teller County. We'll keep a few showers in your forecast until late tonight. Then everything starts to shut down as the atmosphere stabilizes. Openers tomorrow morning. We get lots of sunshine by 10 to 1030. We're in the 60s with those beautiful blue Colorado skies. We're going to do it all over again tomorrow afternoon. Clouds build over the higher elevations. Few showers trying to make it off the mountains across the I-25 corridor. Again, they will be isolated in nature tomorrow across mainly the Pikes Peak region. Afternoon highs today finally showed some signs of life in Pueblo. 74 this afternoon in Colorado Springs. We topped out at 69 degrees. That's where we should be. High of 73 is average this time of the year. Outside right now, we're in the 50s, 60s, and 70s here across the News 5 viewing area. Low temperatures tonight, not as cold as the past few nights. 46 for Pueblo and Canyon City. In the Springs, will drop back to 43 degrees tonight. Still on the chilly side across northern El Paso County. Upper 30s from Monument, Black Forest, all the way into the Calhan area. Tomorrow, it is going to be a beauty around here, especially during the morning into the mid-afternoon hours. Afternoon highs tomorrow, even warmer than what we had today. And again, that weekend couldn't have ordered anything nicer. 76 degrees, pretty good deal this time of the year. We're going to warm even more on Monday. Lots of sunshine Monday. New cold front comes in late on Tuesday. That could spark a couple of thunderstorms. Then noticeably cooler air Wednesday into Thursday with a continued chance of showers and afternoon thunderstorms. In the Pueblo area, going to consume a steady diet of 80s for the next six days. I've got an isolated thunderstorm up there tomorrow afternoon, Saturday afternoon, but believe me, it's going to be a long shot. Consider yourself really lucky if you get any rain at all. Sizzle on Monday at 89 degrees. That'll be the warmest day of the next seven as that cold front comes in midweek. Next week, you could see a few isolated afternoon thunderstorms. And for Canyon City, if you've got outdoor plans this weekend, Mother Nature's not going to slow you down. Afternoon highs, really comfortable morning sunshine giving way to afternoon clouds. And again, an isolated thunderstorm possible Saturday afternoon. And for Woodland Park, how about highs in the 60s and 70s? There's your payoff for that unseasonable cool weather earlier in the week. Going to be gorgeous over the weekend. Enjoy that morning sunshine 